I only have one word for this. Wow. You gotta come out here and hike, people. Beautiful. Beyond beautiful. Oh, howdy hikers, what a uh, night and morning it has been. I actually walked right past <clears throat> the shelter I was planning on staying in last night. I was so tired and <clears throat> by the time I checked gut hooks I was 1.2 miles past it so um, I said there's got to be a campsite somewhere around here so I kept going about another I don't know half a mile or so and I found a spot there were four ladies there camping out and uh Stayed there, found a spot there, stayed there. Real nice ladies. And everybody said it's going to rain, it's going to rain storms tonight. So we put our stakes in deep, put rocks on top of the stakes. And I'm glad we did because it was stormy last night. And the wind was blowing and uh, my little tarp tent held up. I'll tell you what. I was wondering a couple of times, but it sounded like freight trains coming through. And I got up this morning, got everything up. It stopped raining long enough to get the tent packed up, get everything packed up. All the ladies beat me out of, out of camp. <laughs> no surprise there. And they took off. I left about 8.30, and then about 10 o'clock, the bottom fell out again. And it's been raining for the last couple of hours, but it rained pretty hard, thunderstorm for about 20, 25 minutes. And I just stopped on the side and uh, pulled my ground sheet out, covered up with that the best I could, waited it out. <clears throat> it wasn't terrible. <clears throat> A lot of lightning, thunder and lightning. But you have to hike in it sometime, right? So I just took my early lunch break and I'm going to try to make it to Dick's Creek Gap, I think is what it is, and um, hike up to a hostel there, which is five tenths, six tenths of a mile west. I talked to the owner this morning and he said he was filling up already this morning, but if I couldn't get a room or a bed, then he would let me camp out back. And they don't have a lot of resupply there, but they do go into town in the Hiawassee twice a day with a shuttle. So I think I'm going to do that if I have to take a zero because I got a resupply. I got only one day left of food and I don't see a resupply down the down the road uh, in the next couple of days other than that one. So. All right, that's the update and getting back to hiking. Bye. The view from Powell, Powell Mountain. Elevation 3733. Nice place to camp here.
Okay, on to Dick Creek. I have a ride going into uh, Hiawassee this afternoon. I didn't want to. I wanted to wait till tomorrow night, but there's no place I can get picked up. And the weather's going to get really bad Wednesday. Tuesday night and Wednesday, inch and a half of rain. They're talking about bad storms. And I don't want to go through that. I've already been through enough of that. I got to resupply anyway. So I got to go spend a couple of nights at Hiawassee and Grace. My ride will bring me back early in the morning, hopefully Thursday morning, so I don't miss too much. Give my legs a rest anyway, and maybe I can make some better miles. There were a lot of people uh, at the last shelter, and they're going into Hiawassee. So, I didn't want to take a break this soon, but sometimes you have no choice. All right, I'll check back later. Happy trails, everybody. All right, climbing down the last mountain, and this is what greets me. Wow. I really hope I don't have to climb over that. That looks formidable. This has got to be over 4,000. Well over. And we'll see what happens. I have to go wherever the trail goes. Okay, what a washout this was. Shows you how bad those storms were. This looks pretty recent. Started way up there. One rock's hanging on there. That's where most of the wood ended up. Still in Georgia. Love to do a little gold panning downstream. Oh well, maybe some other time. Okay, made it here a lot faster than I thought. Dix Creek Gap, made it about an hour th faster than I thought. I'm getting my legs maybe. Uh, so here's a tour. Nice campsite here. The Forest Service Ranger acted like they didn't want any people camping out here, but that's, that's a nice spot. Nice and level, a lot of room for tents. I'm not sure about water. And then, down the path, here, I should have known when I heard the cars I was getting close, but I went three miles in about 3.4 in under two hours. It's about two hours. It's good for me. Big Creek Gap. All right, my watch says elevation 2465. Okay, whatever. And there's something else down here. Oh, look, a pair of trekking poles. Wow. Wow. They're nice, too. I'm taking those. Get out of here before somebody shows up. Somebody left some trash. Unbelievable, huh? That people would leave that much trash here. Wow. 
incredible. But the boxes, they have drinks in them. These were saints. These are just trail magic people. People leave it here and you drink it, leave the can here, and then they come back and pick it up later. Thank you, people, whoever did it. Thank you very much. And there we are, Dix Creek Gap. I got an hour and a half wait for my ride. All right. Back later.